Well, hello guys. In this video, I want to demonstrate a little bit of my new application that I'm calling Antifix. Well, here you can see that I have two disks, my main SSD with an X4 partition and a USB hard drive, it's called Windows SB, using the NTFS file system. Well, this application is meant to for you, to, for you that wants to utilize this as the same disk for Windows and Linux, and you want to share your Steam library between the two the two operating systems. Well, if you want to do utilize the INTFS FS disk today, you have a lot of problems because Wine prefix doesn't work very well inside the NTFS partition. So I want to uh, address this with, with this application. Take a look. Well, here we have Sonic Mania. It is installed on the USB drive. Let me show you here. Um, let's go to browse the local files. And you can see that it is installed inside the Windows USB. That's my USB hard drive right here. So if I try to run it, play. It tried to run, but it doesn't boot because the wine prefix it is trying to record uh, to store the wine prefix inside the NTFS the NTFS partition. So you just have to run my NTFX NTFX. Here's the is the application. It already right, comes preloaded with the store stock Steam folder. You just have to point the Steam library on the new disk. So I will go here, open. I will choose the Windows USB Steam library. Open. And it's here. You just hit fix. Symbolic links created. See that it creates a, a symbolic chain here demonstrating that it's linked now. We can close the application now and now hit play. Look, now it is already installing the, the libraries for Microsoft stuff. Well, it's a common problem for uh, people that want to do a boot, you know. Uh, myself, I, I had this problem a lot of times in on the past. Uh, nowadays, I already fix it, but I want something that is easier to just to type commands and, you know, something graphical that you can op just open the application, hit fix, and start playing. Just wait for it to finish. Well, it's kind of slow computer. It's a third gen Intel with third HD graphics. So not a very fast system, but it's get the job done. Look, Sega! The Mango Hood is a little bit oversized. But you see that now the game is working. Well, I hope so. I hope it's useful to you all. Thank you.